Get in the vlog. I also got a hoodie. Anyways. We almost got sex traffic. We yeah. had someone stalking us. He was videotaping like this. He was holding it like this. And it was on record. And, he's and that one's the one that... Oh. Thank you, Mom. But yeah, no, literally. If we find him, I'll uh, get a little clip of him so you guys can watch out. Everybody's staring. This is the pooter. And when you like... <laughs> sounds like a car. Uh, victim? Victim, yeah. Oh, right there, right there, right here, right here, on fire, the pigtail like Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, Zena the Princess Warrior, this is Euphoria, I did it for my hermanos, make it all connect, get my freestyle, I can do it with the freestyle, I'm looking at a magic commercial, I'm um, freestyling for the young bosses. Where are we at, guys? Mexican restaurant, don't know the name. Blue face, baby, I already know it. <laughs> like a school girl so I put this hoodie on top of this because I just bought it uh, the close-up with no warning <laughs> Grandparents live in Montreal and pretty much all of my cousins. So we're going to go stay at my grandparents' house for a week. Now the thing is, my grandparents' house is haunted. And I'm not just talking about like, oh yeah, like it's haunted. No, it is haunted. I hate talking about it and I hate saying it out loud because it just makes it worse. But like I gotta do it for the cloud. We have so many stories of like stuff that's happened in that house. So if you want a story time on them, I will do it. Just let me know in the comments down below. The reason why I'm starting this in the car is because we're like less than an hour away. We brought like mediums in and apparently it's bad to talk about it in the house because it like detracts it and makes it worse. I'm not gonna get good night's sleeps in that house. No one is. Like every time I go there, I can never sleep. I'm so scared. So two things has already happened in the car that has been creepy at our house. How long ago was it? Probably about two months ago around. I don't know the exact time. Um, my dad was sleeping on the couch with my dog next to the sliding door in the middle floor and he wakes up and notices a handprint on our sliding door. It wasn't just like a regular handprint. It was like a bony, long, very scrawny. It wasn't something that a human would make. That handprint was just like creepy. It looked like an alien, something not human. We just like pushed it to the side and we're like, oh maybe it's a raccoon or whatever. We didn't want to scare ourselves. We get into this rental car. I noticed this like okay, I noticed it. The same exact or very similar handprint is on the window right here behind the camera. It's a bit smaller, but it's like the exact same handprint. And it's from the inside. We try and like scratch it off from the outside and when it scratch off, we did it in the inside. 
and it like scrapes off from the inside. So this handprint was made from the inside of the car. Pray for me, wish me luck in this house, wish us all luck in the house. The second story other than the handprint I was gonna tell you guys just happened in the car now and I'll get Brittany to tell it. So you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I was falling asleep and I don't know if you know what sleep paralysis is, but it's very common, which is whatever. But like the next step after sleep paralysis is like an out of body experience or astral projecting. So my body's asleep but my mind was awake and my eyes were kind of like this so I could still see my brother was sitting over there so I could still see him clearly and I felt the presence of like a kid I don't know if it was a boy or a girl but there was a kid and I could feel a kid like pulling pulling me away it sounds weird but pulling me away from my body and I was getting super scared and I felt like I was going somewhere else so I was just trying to fight really hard to like it was just very scary and then to add on to that I'm texting my cousin she's like last night Pedro which is her husband got up to pee and I was wide awake and all of a sudden I got so sleepy and my body felt weird as my eyes were shutting I saw a small black figure and it was a girl a little girl with long hair but I got so freaked out she jumped up and it was gone yeah. anyway. oh God. so as you can see there's some black ass stuff that happens in my family we made it we're here ah. I'm praying the rosary every single night before I go to bed here we go oh, no. we're in <laughs> <laughs> the basement. That's a no-go area. Here, kitchen over here. Upstairs. Room here. Room here. My grandparents' room, and then the bathroom. Which one? Like slowly. That door just closed by itself. We're not just kidding. The bathroom? Yeah. Just close. Maybe someone's in there. No one's in there. Yeah, that's pretty much the house tour. Keep you guys updated.